Hi everybody, welcome to a very, very gloomy and wet Lancashire in the UK. In today's video, I'm going to be looking back on 2021, a year of real ups and downs, but one that feels like it's ending on a real high. So for the last time this year, as we always do, let's crack on. I have chosen the absolute worst day to make this video. It is horrible. But I suppose it's nothing else. We're gonna find out how the Sony A92 does in the rain. Anyway, firstly, I want to apologize for not uploading to my YouTube channel for almost a month now. Trust me, that isn't because I've been lazy. I've just been crazy busy trying to get as many of the weddings that I've shot edited as I can for my bride and grooms. But I will soon be up to date, fingers crossed, and have lots of videos already filmed, which I'm looking forward to sharing with you on my channel in 2022. So stay tuned. So, 2021. Like many of us, after the absolute show that was 2020, I went into 2021 thinking it was going to be plain sailing, and well, it wasn't. I didn't shoot a wedding for the first five months of the year, which is not what I was expecting, and financially that was really, really hard. And I don't mind admitting that I was really struggling at times earlier this year, but thankfully the weddings did come back, and that is the main thing. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about 2021 and looking back at those weddings which I covered, the workshops, the Patreon, my YouTube channel, and the other highlights, and sharing lots of my favorite images from this roller coaster 12 months, unless I end up drowning. <laughs> is just ridiculous it is awful look at the state of my hair anyway let's talk first of all about weddings i definitely believe in the saying that absence makes the heart grow fonder and the good thing i suppose about not being able to photograph weddings for such a long time almost eight months for me is that it just reinforced how much i love them it's cliche to say, but I do absolutely love my job. I've been a wedding photographer for over 15 years now, and it is just a part of who I am. So to not be allowed to do that very thing, which I love so much, was really, really hard. It's not just the act of photographing weddings and creating images, which I missed, but also being present to witness so many amazing moments at those weddings and being around people on their happiest of days. That in itself is an incredible incredible thing. People are always happy at weddings, so to be amongst that is actually really addictive. And this year the hug seemed to mean so much more because people were not taking weddings for granted and the tears were as much of relief of finally being able to be married, sometimes after two postponed dates, as much as they were about sheer happiness. So a huge thank you to all my bride and grooms this year for inviting me to be a part of your amazing days. Weddings have never felt as special as they have done this year. So here are just a few of my favourite photographs from some of the weddings that I've been lucky enough to capture in 2021.
The next thing that I want to talk about is my Patreon. The Patreon is the home of all my online wedding photography education. I first set up the Patreon in May 2020 to give me a means of carrying on working and creating when we weren't allowed to go out with our cameras and actually shoot. And that was really important to me for my own mental health. But I could never have imagined back then that it would grow to be what it is today. 18 months later, it is now a thriving community of over 200 wedding photographers from all over the world who all support each other, share tips and advice, and generally just help each other to become the best photographers they can be. And I'm now just a part of that. It is truly humbling to be part of something that is so, so special. And in October this year, we held our first in-person meetup of the Patreon community. And it was amazing to not only meet everybody in person after speaking to them for so long on Zoom, but also seeing everyone get on so well and seeing how genuine friendships have formed. That meetup, the first of many, I hope, was a real 2021 highlight for me. We've also been joined by some incredible wedding photographers on live streams this year, as you will see here. And in total, the library of content is now well over 200 hours long. So if you're interested in finding out more about the Patreon and all the benefits which membership offers, I will put a link in the description. But again, I will forever be grateful to everyone who has joined the community and helped to make it what it is. That is not just down to me, that is down to all all the members and as I've said many times the Patreon community is the thing which I am most proud of from the whole of my wedding photography career so to all the members of the community another huge thank you from me Another huge part of my business is offering in-person workshops. I love teaching other photographers and hosting workshops has been a huge part of what I do for over five years now. And again, for obvious reasons, workshops have been massively affected this past 18 months. As I had to postpone a number of workshops in both late 2020 and in early 2021, some people had to wait over a year to attend my workshop, but thankfully we could finally go ahead later in 2021. And I love them even more because I didn't take them for granted. I was able to hold six in-person workshops this year, two in the summer for an all new workshop which I created and four off-camera flash workshops in the winter. Going back to Reeves Hall, the venue which I use for my flash workshops and I have done now for over three years, really felt like going to my second home. It was so, so nice. And a special thank you to Demi and James as well, who are not only my amazing, incredible models, but who I can also now call genuine friends. They were just as important to this year's workshops as I was. They are awesome. The off-camera flash workshops which I run are a real team effort and Demi and James are a huge part of them so thank you both so so much and a huge thank you to everyone who attended the workshops especially to those who had to wait so long I am really grateful for your patience I'm always amazed at how much effort people put in to travel to these workshops and it is such a huge honor to have you there so to every single person who attended, a massive thank you. You were all a pleasure to teach. I'm going to be announcing more workshops for 2022 very shortly. So if you are interested in attending, please sign up to my mail list. I'll put the link in the description and hopefully I will see you at one very soon.
Oh, I've had to come into the woods because it's so, so bad, the weather, and I'm genuinely getting a bit worried for my camera. And if you're interested, I'm filming this now on my Sony A92 at 4,000 ISO. That's how dark it actually is. But next up, I want to talk about my YouTube channel and thank you, yes, you, <laughs> for watching my videos and supporting the channel. During lockdown, when I couldn't shoot weddings and I couldn't hold workshops, the two things which I could do were to make content for both my Patreon and my YouTube channel. Work, as I mentioned earlier, is so important to me and it feels wrong to even call it work because I get so much enjoyment from it. But producing work for the Patreon and the YouTube was bigger than work. It really did help me with my mental health. And one of the reasons that I make content for YouTube is because you watch and leave such incredible and kind comments. There's no nicer feeling to me than knowing that my videos and my work are being enjoyed by people. And thankfully, thanks to you, the channel continues to grow and has created lots of exciting opportunities for me. So again, a massive thank you. I've made some of my favorite YouTube videos this year. Some highlight videos for me were shooting with my friend Georgie in crazy thick, heavy snow at the beginning of the year. The underwater shoot I did with my amazing friend Beth. Making friends with new models too, such as Nina, Lisa, and Alana and Victor. But again, an extra special thank you to Demi. Demi is incredible. Not only is she an exceptional model, she is a beautiful person too. This year for YouTube videos, I've shot Demi in the heavy rain, in the middle of a busy road with cars just flying past us and bibbing their horns. And I've even dragged her up into a cave, but she never ever complains and she is always amazing. So to Demi, Beth, Georgie, Nina, Lisa, Alana and Victor, plus my friends Tony and Aaron who have filmed some of my videos this year, a massive, massive thank you. At the time of making this video, we are almost at 40,000 subscribers, which just blows my mind. So thank you for supporting me by watching my videos. I'm sorry, I'm waving all over the place. So, so I'm gonna do a shot today where I'm not bringing in, where I'm... <laughs> Um, so I'm going to do a shot today where I'm going to... <laughs> this is good, this is good! So what we're going to do... <laughs> what we're going to... Ah! <laughs> Another highlight of 2021 for me was becoming an ambassador for Pit Time. Now, if you don't know, Pit Time, in my opinion, are the suppliers of the best client galleries for wedding photographers in the world. I'm going to be making a dedicated video soon explaining why Pit Time, in my opinion, are so awesome. But thank you to them for asking me to be an ambassador. It is a huge honor. And another honor was being invited by Magmod, who I am also so proud to be an ambassador for, to be one of the first photographers in the world to try out their new collection of mag boxes. I have loved and been using Magmod for years now, long before I was an ambassador for them. So to have the honor of being amongst the first to try these new amazing products was incredible. So a massive thank you as always to Magmod for all that you do to support me. And finally, another thank you go to Andy and Rahul from Nine Dots for inviting me to speak at the Nine Dots gathering this year. The gathering is an annual three day event, which is so much more than just a photography convention. It is more like a playground for wedding photographers. It's a packed three day party consisting of talks from some of the best photographers in the world, drinks, ping pong, laughter, tears, and all culminating in an epic party at the end. I first attended the Nine Dots Gathering in 2015, and it was amazing. It really changed my career. So to be asked to speak and run live shoots this year was just a massive, massive honor. So thank you to all at Nine Dots. This rain. Oh, the absolute state of me. I just hope that camera's gonna be all right. But there we have it, a quick overview of a crazy roller coaster of a year. The lows were low, but the highs were very, very high. And as I said at the beginning, this year is ending on a real high. And I really believe that the world is getting back to normal. From a personal point of view, I did badly in 2020 and parts of this year, but I feel more energized and excited for the future now than in a long time. And I really hope that you feel that same optimism. 
So again, a massive thank you to everyone who have mentioned in this video. You have all played your part in making this a truly unique, that's definitely true, and special year. So to you watching, thank you. Thank you for supporting this channel and making it what it is. I wish you all the very best of 2022. Let's be grateful for what we have and make it the best year yet. Happy New Year. Actual path. Actually, the path. My God. Yesterday it was sunshine. Friggin' out.